guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Four Word Thinking by Chronicle Books. It plays two to six players, it takes about 20 minutes to play, and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Four Word Thinking, you're basically going to be gathering tiles that have letters on them, two in each corner, and you'll be placing them down onto a grid of sorts, trying to basically combine them to make four letter words. Every time you do, you'll be placing down your tokens on those words, and you're trying to get rid of all the tokens that you have. The game is played in rounds and if you're the first person to remove all of your tokens from your supply and put them onto the tiles you will win the game. If you're interested in a game that involves a little bit of Scrabble strategy as well as dexterity this is a game to check out. Let's go and take a look down below and I'll show you how it's played. Here is forward thinking set up currently for three players but it does play up to six. I've set these aside. Every player is going to be getting two tiles uh, to start with face down and a single tile will remain in the middle of the board face down. So the victory condition tokens somewhere to the side and with an easy reach of players as well as the deck or decks so people can reach them as well. Everybody's going to get these tokens here and your objective is to basically place these down into the middle area whenever you place four letter words down. And at the sound of the buzzer everybody is going to begin. You'll flip this over and then people are going to look at their hands and attempt to make four letter words. And as you place them down maybe for instance you find something like uh, I don't know we'll find a word here, rant, R-A-N-T. When you place your first word with no colors attached to either of the two tiles, you'll get to place down two tokens in that area right here where your word is located. And whenever you play a tile, you get to draw a new one. And you're then going to attempt to make more four letter words. If you can make uh, two four letter words by attaching it like this, you'll actually place down a token in each area. The only time you ever place down two tokens is when neither of the two tiles have any of your color already on them. So for instance, in this case here, if I were to do something like, oh, I don't know, rose, maybe rose, R-O-W-S, then because this tile already has a yellow on it, you only place one yellow token there. And everybody else is doing the same thing. Orange is going ahead and also trying to look for a four letter word with the uh, items that they currently have and maybe like furs f-u-r-s and then they would draw another one as well they would place down two because they don't have their color represented on either of these two tiles there and then as you can see now that yellow has noticed there's no yellow on this one here if they were to make a oh i don't know another word here let's see if we can find one moat m-o-a-t then yellow would be able to place two down because there's no yellow on this tile or on this one either and the game will keep going up to the point where somebody gets rid of all of the tokens that they have once they're all located on this board here, then you're going to check to make sure all of the words are legitimate or legal. You can use Scrabble rules or whatever type of rules you would like. And the person who does that will get a victory condition token. If a player is able to gather three of these in three rounds of the game, then they are going to win. And that's basically the idea of the game. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, a dexterity game, which everybody keeps playing and putting down as fast as they can the tiles, putting down their tokens based on the rules and emptying their pile before anybody else does. Are you interested? We'll talk about about it, whether I think you should pick it up or not in my review up above. Forward thinking is a very straightforward game. Uh, you're basically trying to gather hexagonal tiles, place them onto a board, and then place your tokens from your pile onto the different types of hexagons uh, based on the type of words you create. More words you create, more points you get. And of course, if you can create words on tiles that do not share a color token that you've previously put, you will gain two tokens as opposed to one. And the first person who does so wins. Another really cool thing about the game too is if you have tiles that you do not like, up to two times in a round, you can discard one of your tiles and then draw a new one giving you more variety but eventually you're gonna have to make words and it's almost impossible not to be able to place a word down you just have to find one that is currently available based on your options but there are certain cases in which that will be the fact and you'll have to wait for somebody else to place more players equals more insanity because more things are going on you'll have to limit your choices as to where you want to place and what you want to work with because the board gets substantially bigger the more players you want to play with the game plays just fine at two players it is actually really really exciting you're still trying to place the words down faster than, than, than your partner. But of course, I prefer more players, more insanity, more words everywhere, and more tokens that you can place down. The games are actually even quicker because you are not worrying about a select few amount of tiles, but a ton of different tiles allowing you to place more tokens down. And like I said, the game range is about 20 minutes or so. That's about right. That's even with all of the rounds. You get better the more you play. Start finding new combinations of words and different ways to place your different tokens down. And if you're good, you can be really good and place down multiple multiple words by setting these little tokens. I've never done it. I'm terrible at it. My wife has. Callie is 
made double words before, and that's a good way of scoring points as well. This is a really enjoyable game. If you like games like Scrabble, and you like games that involve dexterity, meaning like action, you know, speedy action that is simultaneous, there's no turns that are being taken in the game, this is one you're going to want to take a look at. If you don't like games that make you feel rushed, or if you're not great at placing down words or figuring out what words are, like Boggle and Scrabble, that type of stuff, it's probably not going to be for you necessarily. Uh, it does present a little bit different style of challenge, but you still are making words. You're still trying to combine letters to make sure that these words are accurate, and if you goof, you can substantially sit back in the game. Uh, it might be a little tense or frustrating for people as they're trying to place words down, then somebody else places a tile in the space that they wanted to place, or next to a space they wanted to place, because when you place a tile, you need to make sure that everything that is connected makes a four-letter word, and that's just part of the game. The game is going to be a little stressful, a little uh, exuberant. You're going to be trying to ex accelerate your play as fast as possible, and make sure that you make correct words. And if you do everything correctly, it's going to feel really good as you're placing it down. It also really, really looks nice. The entire board looks really nice at the end of the game, seeing all the words that everybody has placed out. This is a game that you're going to jump back in and play again and again and again if you really like these type of games. If you're a wordsmith and you like dexterity games like Flick'em Up and stuff like that, this one jumps in and it does a really good job of it. It reminds me of a couple other tile placement games, but I think this one does uh, the best because of how quick it is uh, in, in play. And because, you know, it's a game that even if you're not sure if somebody is going to enjoy it or not, it's such a quick and simple game that, you know, you can just simply go on to a new game if you're not really into it. But for us, for my family, this is a solid game. This is a game I'm going to be keeping for a while because it's something I can bring out in between games or uh, with newer players or people who like things like Scrabble. It kind of like jumps them in from a, a gateway standpoint to like more modern word type games, abstract word type games. Uh, I, I highly suggest this one. This is a lot of fun, but it's going to be for a niche amount of people, people that like dexterity, people who like wordsmithing games are going to enjoy this one and if not you're not going to really enjoy this game it's pretty straight you know you're gonna know if you like this game or not uh, after playing one round it doesn't change in the type of player complexity uh, as you continue throughout the game but regardless if you're interested in taking a look at the game forward thinking which is a nice cute little pun uh, then go ahead and take a look down below link in the description where you pick up the game currently available to you outro time Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Four Word Thinking. If you enjoyed that, like I said before, link in the description. But don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe bell button as well. It will greatly help us out and give you notifications for more videos just like this one where you can take a look at them if you're interested in picking them up. And of course, don't forget to check out my game, uh, my wife's game, Moonshell, a mermaid game. It's coming out March 2nd on Kickstarter. It's a game in which involves puzzliness, uh, Tetris slash uh, Candy Crush kind of mechanics, Tiny Town slash Sagrada for you board game players out there, you'll be pulling seashells from the murky depths and bringing them onto the rocks, and then from there taking them and placing them onto your player board to make beautiful shell combinations utilizing mermaids and your mermeeples of powers and abilities, as well as unique different types of tile sets that are not just shells, but sometimes you're going to see sea urchins and other unique ones as well. It's a really beautiful looking game, and I hope you guys are interested in taking a look. And of course, thank you guys from my Patreon and Discord. We do a bunch of great fun stuff. We have the painting contest out there. There's swag for Moonshell. If you didn't get one, go ahead and message me on there. And I'll make sure to send one out for you. Stickers and pins and all that good stuff. And if you would like, you can also go ahead and join the Discord. Hit that button down below and you can get into our Discord and of course the Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting us. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to wordsmithing with you next time. Let's find a word here. Uh, look forward to Colting with you next time. Colt. I made a word. Yeah.